Welcome to the testing video of LY30KGF. We will introduce the precautions for the first power test of LY30KGF to ensure that users can master the basic testing techniques. Firstly, place the equipment on a flat surface to ensure the safety. If testing the high thrust power, it should be placed behind heavy objects or fixed to the ground to prevent the risk of tipping over. Assemble and fix the motor to the base with the base counter bore facing the front of the motor. Select specialized gaskets and bolts. Install the motor onto the head. Tighten the bolts in sequence and the installation of the small size motor is completed. Remove the bolts from the head motor base. Install the bolts on the motor base. Select specialized gaskets and bolts to assemble and fix the motor onto the motor base. Install the motor to the head. Tighten the bolts and complete the installation of the large sized motor. Connect the commutation speed connection line to the motor. Connect the other end to the ESC. And fix the ESC to the installation board with a tie. Keep the circuit loose to avoid affecting the thrust test. Connect the input line of the power supply to the female connector of the AS150 current sensor output line. Connect the ESC signal line with the PWM out line, while connect the commutation speed connection line to revolutions per minute one.
Installation of propellers after ESC calibration and motor trial run. Insert one end of the power adapter into the port of the acquisition card and the other end to a 220V power socket. You can hear three beeps, beep, 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 indicating that the device is successfully powered on. Connect one end of the device cable to the RS-422 interface of the communication module. The other end cable to the RS-422 interface of the device acquisition card. One end of the computer end to the USB interface of the communication module. And the other end to the computer. Open the MET software. The system will pop up a device selection window. Based on the purchase device model, select the correct stand model, confirm it, and click the confirm button to enter the main interface. If using wireless connection, connect one end to the wireless data transmission device end, while insert the other end into the RS-422 interface of the device acquisition card and connect one end of connection cable to USB interface of the, the communication module while connect the other end to the computer. The user clicks on the port in the upper right corner, selects the correct port to connect. The device emits a beep, then the software connection is successful. Click on system settings in the software to enter the basic settings interface Set the PWM range to 1000 to 2000 microsecond. Generally, for the ESC supporting the calibration, the setting range is 1100 to 1940 microsecond or 1000 to 2000 microsecond. After the setting and software will be automatically restarted. For the ESC that cannot be calibrated, please refer to the ESC manual for settings. When the power is off, Click lock to release the throttle in the control window, fully pull the throttle, and connect the power supply of the motor and ESC, that is, AS150 male of the current sensor connection line is connected to the battery or DC power supply. The motor emits a calibration prompt sound. Upon hearing the prompt sound, click to lock the throttle. The throttle stroke calibration is completed. Click lock, drag the throttle to check if the motor rotates normally and if the motor direction is correct. If the motor direction is incorrect, disconnect the power supply, replace any two of the three phase wires of the motor. Connect the power supply and drag the throttle again to check if the direction is correct. Outage the power system. Install the propeller on the motor to ensure secure installation. Overall power installation and debugging completed. When the power system is off, manually rotate the propeller to ensure that the propeller rotation does not interfere with any test bench or other components. The test bench adopts an infrared detection temperature acquisition method, aligning the mirror surface of the infrared sensor parallel to the motor casing at a distance of 1 to 2 cm. Pay attention to keeping the lens clean and avoiding oil stains blocking it. The optical speed sensors probe and temperature sensor are integrated devices. Adjust the position of the temperature sensor, maintain the position, and stick the reflective sticker to the position where the optical speed sensor beam is focused on the propeller, ensuring that the beam always falls on the reflective sticker when it touches the propeller. Rotate the blade and finish the pasting of reflective stickers on the other side.
move the propeller away from the beam, align the optical speed sensor beam with the non-sensing surface, open the sensor calibration cover, press the set button once, and the sensor will display set. Move the optical speed sensor beam to the reflective sticker on the propeller. Press the set button again. The optical speed sensor calibration is completed. All sensors have been calibrated and debugged. All other sensors have been calibrated and debugged before leaving the factory, so there is no need to calibrate again. Before conducting the testing, it is necessary to make preliminary software settings based on the parameters of the power system. Before testing, the number of pole pairs for the motor should be set. If the number of slot poles is 12 in 1 for P, enter 7 in the number of pole pairs. Optical sticker count setting. This is a measurement of the rotational speed of two blades. Generally, if the number of reflective stickers posted is 2, enter 2 in the optical sticker count field. Shaft power calculation. Generally for LY micro 30 kgf, it is recommended to choose commutation speed, while for LY 70 max, recommended to choose optical speed. Thrust direction. The forward force generated by the motor and the propeller is called pull and the direction is set to pull. Torque direction. If the propeller rotation conforms to the left-hand spiral theorem based on the direction of thrust, it is set to CW. Sampling rate is set to 100 Hz. It is recommended to use 100 Hz for sweeping frequency and response testing, while for other tests, 10 Hz is recommended. Log sampling rate, set to 100 Hz. Other parameters generally do not need to be set separately. If there are parameters that need to be measured separately, users can obtain detailed definitions according to the user manual. In the safeguard, nine parameter values can be set for protection, including thrust, voltage, current, IR temp, commutation speed, optical speed, total power, and power consumption. There are two modes of safeguard, one is alarm. When the test value reaches the protection value, the device only emits an alarm but does not perform the throttle lock operation. The other type is throttle protection. When the test value reaches the protection value, the device will alarm and execute the throttle protection program. Users can set it according to their testing needs. Click lock to release the throttle. Raise the throttle to 20%. Wait for the thrust and torque data to be stable and lock the throttle. Click all CLR to ensure testing accuracy. After clearing all parameters, unlock the throttle to conduct testing. Users can choose different testing and data recording methods according to their needs. Click record. The software will start recording the current data into the log file. Users can drag the throttle bar to test the data at different throttle points. Setting on the advanced throttle part, it is also possible to precisely control the increase or decrease of throttle value. Click to stop recording data or lock the throttle to complete the data recording. Now the data has been stored on the computer, and users can view the original test data in the log folder by clicking on the file toolbar. During the testing process, users can click point or point and new at any time. Each click will record a piece of data at the current time, which is the average mean value of the data is collected, saved in the log. By clicking on the toolbar, file, view the test point data in the point folder. In the system setting, click auto test. There are seven testing modes available, increase, cycle, custom, sign, linear, step, 
and sign sweeping frequency testing. Let's take the increase mode for instance. Set the throttle increment to 10 and maintain it for 4 seconds. After setting it, click save. Unlock the throttle, click auto test, and the software will start executing the automatic test program. Auto test mode does not require clicking to record, data will be automatically saved. After the data testing is completed, the user clicks on data analysis in the toolbar and clicks on the last test to directly enter into the data analysis software. By checking the box below, users can view the curve data and can choose chart view, data view, and average throttle point. Click average throttle point output. User can output the average throttle point data of the current test and store as the Excel form file. Click Curve Analysis to draw the characteristic curve of the current loaded data. There are Report Output Settings options in the Report Output. Users can choose to input the company name, filter settings, and characteristic curve settings. After setting up, click on Report Output, and the output report will be stored in report file of the metadata. Above is all the test teaching content of the LY-30KGF test stand. Thank you for watching.